Okay, what we got here is a new kit, and it's a dry cell kit. Um, uses my H2 dry tube, and I'm just going to show you how simple it is to hook up and use. Basically, it'll come in a package with a pressure switch, the dry tube, a reservoir, uh, the cap pressure gauge, and the torch with the flash arrestor. And basically, you just hook in the dry tube, just like that. Hook in the pressure switch, just like that. Okay, you can, uh, from the pressure switch, this one goes to the center tube. Okay. And then, um, fill it with, this is, uh, just, um, drinking water. It's not distilled water. It's tap, it's not tap water. It's spring water. And, um, potassium hydroxide about two tablespoons per gallon. We're going to fill it right to that line. So it's easy to fill, easy to drain. You don't want to overfill it because you'll get water in the torch building up pressure and it'll shut off. Okay, and then my electrical connections. I already modified my battery charger. Um, so the positive connection goes here. The negative connection goes here to the outside tube. Okay, it's on. There's no on-off switch on this. Um, you'll have to put that on yourself. And then we plug in the gauge and torch. Now tell me that the assembly can't get any simpler than that. Okay, we'll just like I always do a short demo of 1.5 liters a minute. Okay, and these are high flow, it doesn't build up pressure. Um, see my pressure? It's less than a one psi. So um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and light this. And there's that little flame. And I've got an eight penny now. And we're just gonna Now, right now, it's probably doing about one liter a minute. Um, after it warms up, it'll get up to about 1.5.